The first um, of all, and the most tricky one, are the prohibitions in um, Article 5. Um, there, as you saw in newspapers and so on, the most contentious points from those contentious points is um, remote biometrical identification. Um, it's the uh, prohibition in Article 5.1d. Um, the Parliament even added um, a kind of case where um, it's not happening in real time, um, but you are accessing um, this uh, yeah, um, biometrical um, identification data um, um, afterwards, after it was recorded. And this um, is rather tricky for member states to accept um, because they want to use it for their law enforcement um, agencies to prevent terrorist attacks like the one now um, happening in, in Brussels to find missing persons, but also for other things. To, to find here a middle ground is almost impossible um, because the parliament really wants to ban it completely and to not allow any loopholes. And um, based on the feedback of civil society, they do have a point that there were um, a lot of scandals um, where um, data was being used in a way that is really not in line um, with our European values. But there are also um, strong points that are brought forward by the member states when it's about security, but also about so far um, legally um, yeah, and commercial um, services and products that would be risked to be forbidden in the future if this ban is um, becoming too broad. This was RBI, um, but there are also other um, prohibitions in this article where you have uh, this clash between member states, between especially the left-wing political groups, and where we really need to go into details. Again, always trying to find this uh, difficult compromise between making the ban um, not too broad, that there are loopholes, but also um, um, yeah, not too narrow.